My name is Danielle Miller. I am the ex-fiance of former player Rashad Vaughn. We have two beautiful children together, Carter, who is six years old, and Kari, who is two years old. But how you been enjoying being back here in Orlando? <sighs> I mean, bittersweet, you know. Your face not bittersweet. I don't know what I look like. You look good. Look <laughs> Make them drop, cause you won't forget about it. Make them little, then when it comes to boxing, I might be cute, but you know I got them things. My dad actually taught me how to shadow box when I was a kid. It was just another way for me to do cardio while training for basketball. Hey! Hey! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be a good opportunity to get some of the ladies together um, to go boxing so we can take some of our frustrations out on the bag instead of each other. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Defend yourself at all times. A jab, cross, jab, cross for about 15 seconds. Let's go to work. Give me a jab. Ooh, yeah. Right. Yo, do you see how this girl over here throwing these punches? Right. She don't need no lessons. Oh my, God. Oh my, God. my babies aren't with me this summer. They're actually staying with their dad on his farm in Minnesota. I really miss them so much. Rashad actually bought the farm while we were together. We had plans to raise our family there. I contributed to the farm, and now it kind of sucks that I'm not there and our kids are. Yes. Hi, Carter. What you doing? Today, I'm going to pick up my snake. Your snake? And I'm going to, uh, yeah. You miss mommy? I miss you guys. Yeah. Can you, can you come here tonight? I don't know about tonight. Being here in Orlando, I'm really trying to get back to who I am. You know, I dedicated so much of my life to being a mother and a partner to somebody. But so much of who I am today is because of those things. So I feel like a piece of me is missing. What's Kari doing? She's holding your hand. You better take care of your sister, OK? <laughs> I miss you guys. My emotions have been getting the best of me lately, and I do need to make sure I keep my children in mind because they are the ones that I want to make proud. I really cannot be putting my hands or getting into fights with these other women. You know, Mommy is about to start playing basketball again, Carter. You excited? I've been training. I've been playing basketball. How do you feel about that? Good. Whose games you going to come to, Mom or Dad's? Both. Ooh, I like that answer. <laughs> I used to be focused on my basketball career just as much as my ex is on his. I played in college, I played professionally, and I also could have played in the WNBA, but I put all of that aside when I had kids. I really want to try to make it back, though. Hey, friend. What's up, bro? I'm at my house, and I'm doing a personality test, and I just want to share my results with you. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, yes. I'm happy for Danielle to be exploring new options. We are constantly changing and evolving, so why not project that onto something positive? So the question on this one was, which personality type is your love match? It pretty much stated that I match with people who are really positive, who give me a lot of words of affirmation, who express their love. But yes. I know I always tell you, like, I don't like when people like be in my face or touch me or, or talk to me, you know, like, or like, is this doing too much? Which is so weird that this was a match for me. From what I know from you, you know, like you always did sports with your dad. That's something that's uh, masculine, you know? You haven't had a chance to even really receive affection in that type of way. So maybe you want it, but you just don't know how to receive it. It's hard for me to even like navigate a man looking at me and wanting to have affection towards me because I have been with somebody for so long. I feel like I have a lot of inner growth to do, and I think moving forward, I want to make sure that I address my flaws to be able to be a better partner to somebody else. What you had going on with your ex, you don't really know how to receive affection, and I feel like he tainted your vision on that. So you got to learn how to break that guard down so someone can come in, be soft with you, and give you the affection that your heart yearns for, not your mind. I feel like Rashad just did whatever it is to make me happy without making himself happy. 
as much love that was there, I feel like relationships and being monogamous is just not something that he's capable of doing. It's part of the reason why I've been trying to get back out there. Girl, well, on that note, let's go find my husband, honey. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's see. My I'm husband. Happy. I'm happy. Thank you, my man. Thank you, my man. That's going to be you, girl. The ladies are back, and we not taking checks. The drip is cash only, and you know we won't respect. I'm really nervous. I'm going on a date. Speed day was fun. It kept me on my toes, and I feel like it was a great way to get back out there. Can I get a lemon drop, please? Thank you. Gotcha. And Danny. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Thanks for meeting me here. Absolutely. Me and Mikael met a few months ago. He's a sports agent. He lives in Cleveland, and he flew in to see me. We've always hit it off every time we linked up. Welcome to Orlando. Yes, yes. I needed, this, here. I needed this getaway. How you feeling? Feeling good. Just happy to be away from work right now. You know really? what I'm saying? Been mad. Busy. I know you always be. Every time I call you, you on the phone. Always. <laughs> Glued to my hand. <laughs> I'm like, let me invite you here. Because we've been vibing for some time now. So what are your biggest turn-ons in a relationship? Um, seeing a woman that's driven, you know, off of you know, her kids and her goals and really just is just chasing, right? Just making okay. sure everything is, you know, top ten like done. Me. Right. So yeah, it sounds like you. <laughs> Part of me getting back out there is me getting back to all the goals and the dreams that I had prior to being with Rashad. And I do feel like I lost sight of that for a little bit. What was one of your biggest turn off? Like you said, like a man that knows how to like leave the pack, mm -hmm. go get it. Well, I love the fact that you're like a devoted father. Mm -hmm. Like the only thing I ever hear you talk about is like supporting the mother of your children and making sure Maddie's straight. Like that's your biggest thing. And right. I love that. Before career, before money, before anything. So making sure your family's good. No, for sure. So that's like my biggest turn on. I think that as I've gotten older and as I am able to look back on my past relationship, I do have different wants and needs. Rashad needs to take a little page out of Mikhail's book. Where I'm at in life now, I was kind of like, I need that balance, you know, just. Oh, you ready to settle down? You ready yeah. to put a ring on it? You... I'm ready to put a ring on Ooh. it. <laughs> you know, that's right. <laughs> so you looking for the end all, be all. I'm 31, I'm into my career, and I feel like I need I need a lead lady. I need lead that. Like, oh, I like I that. Need... That's toast to the good life. The good life. This, this to new beginnings and better endings. No, okay. Right. Period. 